Remember in the last, in the very first episode that got me so good? <laughs> Welcome back, guys. To the park. So where do I go? Where did that come from? Taste your dream, not safe. Leave the 1980s. Forgive me, coward. What the heck? Trippy. Don't touch me. Don't leave me here, Callum. Where'd he go? She cut herself? Trippy. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In a sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning car it's your hard-earned five dollars. What secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. In the face of the witch, we'll get over it all. I always despise a toothy glitter that bore nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. So I guess we're heading here. I can help you, Callum. Keep them away from me. Callum, where are you? Was well, this the haunted house of horrors?
Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of townfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron post padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston. And I have returned here to the house of horrors. I must think. You stupid chipmunk. Oh, that's nice. He just disappeared out of nowhere. Uh, hi. Oh, look. It's the stupid chipmunks again. How you doing, you chipmunk? You son of a... Oh, yay. Incidents and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but sometimes something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is com corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue. Either kind. Investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. No stupid chipmunk. Creepy open doors. What have you done with them? Oh, 
you creepy SOB. sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home made a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Whether it had been color and light, or shadows and regrets. Whether it had been warmth, it was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. So, as far as I'm understanding this, she lost her mind off the loss of her uh, husband. And she uh, went into an asylum and got her son taken away. Or I guess rehab. Disconnect notes. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected. Or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us at blah 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 blah. And we can arrange a payment plan. A payment plan so that you can immediately be re reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us on blah 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 to discuss your options. If you are unable to make the payment, please contact the local welfare office to discuss placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is so cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwick Power Company. Okay. Hunger, the true story of the donors. Where is my boy? I love you from Callum. So he obviously was held here. The wilting. This sounds like she's losing her mind. Blah, blah, blah. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. Did she live here? Lorraine, 
I received your letter, and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared the, off the edge of the map. And when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And you write to me asking for help. I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I cannot, I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Let's see what uh, overseeing psychologist Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in the pre in her pregnancy. I wonder why. I suppose the love of her life died, I guess, or maybe he didn't. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don. Oh, he, yep, that's true. Who died about six months ago? There are also several unresolved issues with her father. Which could be another part of it. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, disorder including electroconvulsion therapy, which at the bumper cars proves that she was shocked. The patient responded and made rapid recovery, which also sounds really cruel. Miss Maller, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald William Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the, mon the any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, attorney. So, she didn't get a dime from his death. She had his kid, and went, or around the same time she had his kid, she went nuts. She half loves him, but half hates him. What the heck? Show yourself. Great. Well, Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. 
I think it is because I'm so far from home and I am working so hard every day working at the park. It gets worse like a spring inside my uh, mind. Wincing tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city when I where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for the boy, boys or girls. I like Callum for a boy, and Emma if it is a girl. Okay. That's probably the electric bill. So I guess I'm supposed to take these pills now. What the? I didn't run right, Dad took me. It keeps changing. What the heck? Well, I gotta go. This is the end of this episode, but don't worry. I'll record one more soon after this. I am Charging Ryuki. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace, and don't forget to bring the nachos. Because when you're in a park, you can't enjoy it unless you have nachos. Especially with a, with a freaky chipmunk on, chipmunk on their way. Oh boy.